Okay, now I'm cleaning the gasket material here. This is where the integral will go. This is a 3M bristle disc. It really removes gasket really fast and it's 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 perfect job. You can tell it doesn't take that much time as at all. And uh versus the uh razor blade method, uh you can't mark it. You're not gonna get a uh not gonna get a scratch where uh your gasket won't seal. It's perfectly safe. Uh, and I come in uh in yellow like this. This is usually for aluminium, but I'll use it for steel as well. Uh, there's a green one for steel and there's uh, an even more abrasive one which is brown which I have uh, I don't really use this this works uh, good for my aluminium as well as my steel so that's the only one I buy And there we go. Now it's going in the boot. And uh, I'll sandblast this puppy. And uh, all the ridges in there. Uh, the valve, there's no gasket at the bottom. The valve just sits in there, so it needs to be really clean. So I'm, uh, I need to clean that. And all the ones around here. And uh, the crusty surfaces over there as well. This is pretty nasty so try to knock as much as possible out and uh, that'll be that does need to be uh, perfectly clean I would need a hot bath to uh, let it sink in it or uh, acid bath something but yeah it's gonna be clean enough I'm not gonna worry about it too much as long as there's nothing that can come off and uh, dump into my cylinders I'll be fine so here's the head after uh, bit of time in the sandblast boot uh, this is as far as, as I'm gonna take it because uh, yeah it doesn't need to be cleaner than that uh, I got all the nice uh, surfaces here so my uh, my copper washer can uh, seal properly and uh, yeah buff the buff the surface here and remove all the all the grease and all that stuff so uh, this is ready to uh, to reassemble and uh, put back on the compressor, I'm gonna paint the whole thing as a unit. Uh, so the whole palm I'm gonna paint uh, after all all, uh, all the parts are on, and uh, that's just that's just how it's normally done. I could probably I could easily paint that and reassemble and then put it on the compressor, but uh, yeah, I want everything torqued down before I paint everything anything. So uh, yeah, so this is uh, head number one. All right, reassembly now. Got my valve. I got my valve cap. Cleaned it up pretty good. Um, got three, uh, three of the old uh, stems that uh, holds the valve in, and I got two new ones for uh, the uh, exhaust. So this one, and that one are gonna get uh, new studs, and the other one I'm reusing the old one. So I got two new ones in here. That's one new. And another one here. That's for all uh, that's for the two exhaust. And then I got my uh, my seals here. So needs one in each hole. We need two intake. I always try to wiggle them back and forth. So if they move ever so slightly when I move them and uh, press them down, it means there's a there's something underneath or it's not sitting right. There we go. Now it's sitting right. And then an intake here on the other side of the cooler. 
this one is wiggling so it's not it's not in yet there you go now it's in and exhaust there we go now we're gonna go and proceed with the caps you should be putting oil on there uh, before tapping it up um, they're specifying SAE 30 but uh, yeah I'm just gonna put a little bit of a air tool it just helps when you uh, torque it down it lowers the amount of torque it takes to spin this thing and what it does it uh, gives you a more accurate reading on the torque you're applying but Got a little bit of oil here, and that's all I'm gonna need. It's gonna do just fine. So that guy here gets a new one. And what I'll do, I'll um, I'll put them loosely on so they don't uh, they don't uh, move inside the head. I'm gonna put the head back on, I'm gonna back these off and uh, tighten the caps because you need to tighten the caps first. If you tighten this down and then you tighten the cap, it's gonna be way too tight and uh, it'll never come out of there or you'll break the, uh, the stem here. <laughs> we'll have the caps there afterwards but not yet, I'm gonna tighten everything down. Head belt go to 30 foot pounds. Valve plugs go to 125 foot pounds. The valve set screws go to 15 foot pounds. This will hold the valve inside the body. all of them now I need to clean the uh, around the set screws because I need to put a dab of a uh, gasket maker uh, the original kit used to have another um, another copper washer there but uh, 
they don't do that anymore. They just put a bit of a RTV, it seals better apparently. So I'm gonna do that, clean the uh, all the spots there, and then uh, screw my caps back on. They also go to 15 foot pounds. So for this, I'm gonna use Clean Flow Black Fort 71, and uh, yeah, just put a little bit of it and uh, screw these guys on. These also go to 15 foot pounds. There you go, it's assembled. Okay, I'm about to get done with the second head. Uh, also put the intercooler here, but yeah, so uh, that's all you need. Just a little bit of RTV there, and uh, then you torque it down. So almost done with that head as well. These here, they go to 47. I forgot to uh, put them in the last video, forgot to do them. So 47. Okay, so that's the gist of it, all assembled, uh, of course, air filters and the intercooler tubes, but I want to give it a uh, last bit of a of pint, because uh, these were laying down, so I sprayed the other side, this is all nice and pretty, but uh, yeah, here it's missing a bit of paint, so I'll paint that. Also, I have to paint a little bracket uh, that holds it in, there's a, there's a anti-vibration thing that, that clips on here needs to be painted as well uh, and I need to order new overloads uh, the relief one of them I tested it and it it's flowing below 40 psi they are supposed to open at 75 uh, that's don't no, that's no bueno so I'll order new ones it's not expensive usually they have a, a code on it they have um, the rating at which they open up but uh, the part number is usually on them which is the case with these one. So I'll just order some, you can go on eBay or any uh, pneumatic strap, they should have it. It's uh, it's pretty common on most air compressor. I mean, you take, there's, an, there's another one here. This one's probably set to uh, 200 PSR. And it's got four holes. So uh, it's probably like 50, over 50, 60 uh, SCFM. Because it needs to be higher, this one at least. It needs to be higher CFM than the compressor itself and this is uh, 56 CFM with this pump on a 15 horsepower uh, motor so uh, yeah it needs to be over 56 
was probably uh, 17 or something like that. Those little guys, they are, they are um, 20, 27, 27 SCFM. Um, yeah, let's grab a, one of these. Of them. Yeah, stuck in there. That's the one I, I tested. And the rubber o ring is gone. See, uh, model SP2. So you see all the pedigrees on them. So 75 psi and 27 SCFM. So yeah, the, if you had those up, it's pretty much the uh, the whole pump uh, capacity. Why not? Alright, so there it is. Uh, it's all assembled now except for uh, the flywheel and the overloads uh, protection there. Uh, I need to either uh, shim them or I have to, uh, to test them. But yeah, I know one of, uh, one of them uh, opens too quickly. Probably the other one too. Um, I have to uh, check if I can do something with that otherwise I got to order them and wait for them uh, on eBay. So there's plenty of it on eBay. Pretty standard. I'll, I'll try to source out a, uh, a parts place so I can get the uh, the overload locally. Uh, they're not terribly expensive, about ten bucks each. But I don't know what they'll be uh, online. Online is always. I uh, don't know what they'll be locally because, yeah, everything is uh, more expensive locally here. So I got to clean the um, the flywheel and the shroud. So yeah, I'm gonna get my. Uh, my brush and my foot and my soap and I clean that up <coughs> put it back on a compressor and the new motor is coming in so next video is gonna be the uh, the conversion to a single phase 240 because of course this is a industrial compressor with a three phase motor which uh, which I just pulled there so it's a uh, it's good motor it's in perfect shape but I can't use it it's a uh, 575 volt and it's three phase so 11 amps which uh, would be pretty cool but since I'll be running a single phase on 240 I'll be pulling 42 amps 42 or 43 amps so uh, for sure unfortunately I got to replace the uh, main breaker because my other compressor is a seven and a half horse and this is 10 horse so it needs a 60 amp breaker instead of 40 but uh, that's the next video, so I'll uh, I'll stop it right here. So uh, that's the uh, that's the thing. I got my um, magnetic starter, so you need a motor and a magnetic starter, all the wiring, of course. But uh, yeah, I'll stop that here, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.